let's uh, dig into some chasm here. Like I said, I'm gonna start the file that I just basically played through, like, the opening, like, tutorial bits, and, like, you just kind of, like, go through the castle, explore, get your, like, goods, get this sword and whatever, and then go out to the mission, but this is, like, the little hub town, and I love how it actually, like, loops around, like, I, at least I, I'm pretty sure if you go all the way around, I love the music in this town, in this game, but yeah, it just loops all the way around. I think you can get, like, some missions and stuff here. Um, yeah, I gotta find the townsfolk so I can... Get some more stuff. Like I said uh, at the top, I've played about halfway through this game, but we're starting fresh at the top here. And, uh, yeah, I remember really loving this game, uh, what I played of it back when we, uh, pretty much right when we first started the podcast, I feel, is when we um, talked about this game first. But, yeah, it's like a procedurally generated uh, Metroidvania, like I was saying at the top. Um, and I don't always love Metroidvanias, and like I, I'm just gonna be a broken record here, but, uh, like I was saying at the top too, John and I in particular, like, we always kind of joke on the podcast how, like, he's like, I hate platformers, but I love Metroidvanias, and I love platformers, but I hate Metroidvanias, and obviously, you know, there's a lot of overlap there, but at the same time, and obviously there's plenty of Metroidvanias I like, but it's usually more like stuff like Gato Roboto, or like a stuff more on the mini metroidvania side of things because i just end up getting lost and looking at the menus all the time and the maps and just kind of tedious and annoying to play through them like um i just tend to like a more linear experience but uh this game for whatever reason really clicked with me uh i just really like how smooth like even you know it's nothing great it's not like the combat's super interesting it's very like castlevania-esque just like with like kind of like a whip but you, you do get like two different hands you can equip uh weapons in each hand later on or maybe there's like two-handed weapons i can't remember exactly it's been a while oh i forgot you can break those torches even more castlevania -y than i thought level up action you can also swipe like down on like a slight diagonal which really makes no huge difference but they let you do it anyways but yeah like it's procedurally generated but like it's just like these corridors here that are like stitched together randomly but this doesn't feel like it's not handcrafted to me like it feels like they definitely have a bunch of handcrafted rooms probably or at least chunks uh that get stitched together and then you can, you can do like a back dash which i know they have in some of the uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, Castlevania games at least. Uh, those are the main ones that I've played. Is this a treasure chest? Nope. Just a little ramp. I'm playing on a Nintendo Switch here, by the way. Um, but I believe this game is available on pretty much any platform you can imagine out there. Oh. Boom. Okay, so can I, I can get shit from that, so that's good to know. I think these fall. Nope. I really like how you can do, like, I'm pretty sure I can do it right off the top, but you can do, like, this ledge grab. Uh, it's, like, a really cool uh, take on, it's not, like, wall jumping, per se. Run the magic shop in town, okay. Oh, my horse buttercup. I thought it said my Norse <laughs> buttercup. Why do you build me up a buttercup, baby, just to let me down? mess me around in the worst of all <laughs> get a little carried away there a little critical hit um let's go over here with the cart yeah this game is, to me is just so gorgeous the music's amazing especially now that i got the headphones strapped on um there we go some tougher goblins over here gotta use that back dash you gotta remember it's only a back dash so you really gotta make sure what direction you're facing in obviously the uh enemies start to get a little tougher combat starts to get a little tougher did i say anything more obvious i'm like john madden over here you gotta score more points than the other team if you want to beat if you want to win the game <laughs> so stupid um me that is i i've got nothing against john madden yeah, uh, in common, I think John Madden is famously uh, afraid of flying, or at least, I don't know if it's because he's afraid or whatever, but he just always, like, drove a bus around everywhere to go to all the different uh, football games. Hey, what's going on, Ando? Yeah, the animations are so buttery smooth, and the gameplay is really buttery smooth, too. Like, I just feel like you get, like, immediately, like, I was like, okay, yep, that's exactly how the jump feels. That's, like, I just so quickly was like, yep, I remember how to play this game. Leather armor, let's go. Can I crawl under here? I don't 
don't think so. I don't. Th I think I have to get a. Sl I think I have to get the slide. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think I can do that yet. Yeah, that uh, like little trail behind the character is so slick. Oh shit! Up and over, and you really have some nice control over the jump. Like if you do a little tap, you got basically like a little hop, but you can really get some hang time. Um, and I love a game that you can really do some good finessing on the jump. Um, oh, it feels so, it's like, you, you, oh shit, as I fuck it up, you really have so much control over your jump height. It's, it's, it feels awesome. And then, yeah, if I use my other hand that doesn't have the sword, I can just do like a regular old punch. Falcon punch! I better not try to do that while... Well. This goblin's got a spear here. Skip to my loo. Oh, come on. Shit. Can I ledge grab yet? Shit. Come on. Get on the platform. I don't think I can ledge grab yet. I could have sworn I did that in the tutorial, but maybe they show you like a couple things you... I can't remember. Uh, but let's go into my inventory. No, equipment. Quilted armor. How about some leather armor? Buff up those stats. Nothing else I can put on, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Keep chugging along. Where am I at on the map? There's a nice, just easy-to-read map here. Um... That's one thing, yeah, again, I think I said at the top, like, just always going into menus and stuff and maps on most Metroidvanias, like, in spite of this being procedurally generated, I feel like I actually got pretty good at, like, just remembering where I needed to go, uh, at least the first time around. Chop these down. Oh, uh, such cool enemy designs. Oh, I'm gonna think, yeah, with eight health, not the way to go right now. Where else can I go, then? Let's go down to the left here. I like that the map... Oh, not that way. Gotta get some kind of lantern or something. I can't remember. Oh. How about up here? Shortcut? This is like a little hub section, if I remember. Yeah. yeah everything else is kind of closed off. I think you have to, like, power that up or something. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Just Checkpoint, let's go. Okay, then let's go take, try to take that boss down. Mini bow, oh, let's see where this goes. Oh, smithereens. Maybe let's go back up to town then and then see if, check the magic shop. I don't think, no, yeah, they're in the other hut. I love love the music in the hometown here. It's just so fucking good. Um, okay, I thought the people were in here, like on those side rooms. Guess not. Do another save. Just for the heck of it. There they are. Oh, it's just to reheal my magic? No, I can buy that. Magic knife. Ah, uh, not enough. Nice. Okay, so they're just like a shopkeeper. Shopkeeper, pretty much. Nice. Yeah, that breath. Uh, when you're out here in the cold, you're like a uh, little breath uh, breath cloud. So cool. Okay, wait. That's not the way I wanted to go. Scoop. Okay. Back over to the boss. Chop him down. Ah, shit. Okay, what do you got? Oh, come on. I thought for sure I gotta... Damn. Okay, that punch definitely looks like it's gonna be more... Okay, the club is what does the... Wave attack. Ah, shit. I guess it doesn't do as much 
much damage as I thought. Sit down, sucker. Oh, and another rescue. Let's go, Spelunky. Professor Basden. A little archaeology, let's go. And they're back over in the hub town now, too. Yes, level me up. Ah, oh, shit. Double critical hit. Let's go. Uh, let's just hmm, keep exploring or go back up to the town. Yeah, I got enough money now, so let's at least buy something from the shopkeep. Fresh save point and everything. Oops. Ah, see, I still thought that uh, character would be up there. Okay. Let's buy. What does this do? Is that my intuition? gonna save the money I guess because the magic knife isn't really uh doesn't look like it's much of an upgrade so let's just keep plugging along no I hear what you're saying but uh I guess I, I'm not a huge fan of Super Metroid again I guess I'm just to be a broken record about uh Metroidvanias but yeah that game is just a game that I'm always lost in I love the atmosphere and the vibes but um, yeah, I, th to me, this game blows Super Metroid out of the water, and I know I'll take <laughs> I'll take all the flag for that. Uh, I don't I don't mind, but yeah, for whatever reason, this one just clicks with me uh, way more than Super Metroid. I really don't like how the controls feel in Super Metroid. I know I was talking about how I really like how the jump feels in this game. Like, couldn't be more different uh, for how I feel about the jump in Super Metroid. It's like so airy and so floaty and like. Oh man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go off on that tangent because, <laughs> but even like Hollow Knight, like so many of like the Metroidvanias that Metroidvania fans love. This is why John and I always get into this on the podcast, because um, we're just like, yeah, I love platformers, but yet I never like any of like the classic or like everyone's favorite Metroidvanias. And then John loves Metroidvanias, and then often bounces off a lot of the classic platformers, or at least my favorite platformers. Okay, I got a knife now. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, I just, uh, I can't equip that. I can equip it here, can, but I, okay, interesting. Is it an upgrade? I think it is an upgrade. Oh, yeah. A little shorter range, but. Okay, I guess, yeah, I don't have that ledge grab yet. Um, yeah, shorter range, but chop these suckers down. Well, I guess I was already killing them in one hit anyways. Um. But yeah, even though this game uses the procedural generation to stitch things together, I still feel personally like it does a great job of, like, because all the main core rooms are still, like, handcrafted, and even, I think, even the stitched together stuff is handcrafted, it's just stitched together randomly, but I'm sure it can potentially lead to some, like, janky moments, but yeah, I remember when I played of the game, it just felt like a totally natural sense of exploring and... Uh, what not? I never ran into feeling like, again, as a non, you know, Metroidvania fan, so, uh, take it with a grain of salt, but, um, yeah, I always felt like I really was enjoying it. Okay, stand there for a moment, lock the gate in place. Let's see, what do you do? Nice, okay. Follow the archaeologist. Well, let's, uh, check what's up here first. Yeah, sounds good. Take it easy, no, uh, Happy to uh, chat some more Metroidvanias with you anytime, whether in the Discord or uh, 
right here. But yeah, enjoy the uh, rest of the day, and maybe I'll uh, catch you later if I'm uh, still on here. And I hope it doesn't sound like I'm like arguing. But <laughs> by the way, I, I one of my favorite things about games and just any art form. I think I like the short sword a little better. I gotta have that range. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really like this. That's one of the fun, like, the most fun things on the podcast is, like, just going back and forth between Randall, John, and I and, like, seeing, like, either things that fall into place exactly like I expect or things that, like, oh, you like that game? Oh, man, I would have never in a million years thought you liked that game. Uh, or that you would be as into this as you are and vice versa. Um, stuff that I enjoy that I don't expect to and whatnot. I don't know. It's just, it's just fun and interesting how, uh, basically anything that... Uh, <laughs> whether it's yeah, music, movies, whatever it's like, it's just interesting to talk about what people like and what people don't like and why um, even if there's no real reason other than just like, oh, I just kind of like this thing and I don't like this thing for whatever reason it doesn't click with me but yeah, I really like how the platforming feels in this game oh, another knife got some shit to sell now oh where do I want to go love on switch it's just the uh minus button to uh ah uh, shit uh pull up the map and then start or plus to uh pull up the inventory and everything so it's real handy to just like pull your uh, thumb off the joystick hit minus real quick you're not like having to dive into two separate menus or whatever i know a lot of metroidvanias and just games in general have that oh little chicken pot pie oh um, any pot pie chop them down in two sit down piece of shit okay there we go i can't remember i'm pretty sure i can use some of this stuff for crafting or like upgrading my weapons or something Maybe, yeah, maybe it's not regular crafting, but, like, go to the blacksmith and use those ingots for something. Shit, yeah, I don't have to grab yet. Break that shit. Little summon scroll. What is this, Final Fantasy? There we go. I like these, even though they're just mindless, like, popcorn enemies. I really like those glowworm things. Silk worms, whatever they are. Oh, shit. Gotta use that back dash. Still got plenty of health for now. Bandana, time to strap it on, baby. Oh, shit. Sliced. Okay. So let's plop... Oop. Equipment. Head, bandana, defense up, and concentration up? I don't know if it ever tells you what all those different things are. But we'll take it. Where are we going, by the way? Yeah, the platforming just feels so fun in this game. Very fluid, very responsive, incredibly responsive. Uh, let's see if this... Oh, of course you got that classic uh, Castlevania knockback. This might be a little too hard to do without... Uh... Oh, I can take some pot shots. I'm still not going to be able to get up there anyways. Or do anything up here, I should say. Can I make it? Yep. Not up there, though. Do you ever... I can't remember if you ever get a double jump. You must. There we go. Barely make it over here. Find a little lore that I don't care about. Not that I don't care about, but don't care that much about. I'll go back and read it later if I'm... All that... It, I always pretend like I'm going to do that. Like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll follow along with this later. Pretty sure later on you get like a slide attack where you can break those or there's like a way to break those i thought maybe my diagonal slash would do the trick but not quite oh here we go oh 
but no sesame. Okay. So I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking when that was gonna be available to me, but I didn't think it was gonna be right here in this room. But yeah, I don't know why, like a lot of like, you know, it can feel repetitive. Like I literally just did this section, but for whatever reason, in this game, like the controls just feel so good that it never bothers me to have to like redo stuff or mow down the same enemies again or whatever if you're going back through a room. And we keep moving along. It's time! It's time! It's Vader time! <laughs> oh, you're always gonna get some stupid uh, either music stuff or wrestling stuff from me, but okay, another uh, passageway open. Wait. Yeah, okay. Go on down. Only one way to go. Gotta have an elevator in uh, Metroidvania. Take a sip of coffee here. Okay, so I was almost thinking, does it take me to a new map here? But I don't think so. Okay, I still don't have the slide. I forgot how many different uh, abilities you have to unlock in this game, like movement-wise. Oh, little gators! These things are sweet. I don't remember those. Oh, shit. There we go. I'm re I really want to try to beat this game, though. I'm really mad that I never followed through, and I probably, if I really wanted to try to beat it, I probably should just pick up on the file that I originally started that I was halfway through, but considering it was only like five, six hours that I had played, and um, shit, had gotten like a little over halfway through the game percentage-wise, or map-wise, uh, so probably even further than that realistically as far as like the stuff I had accomplished. But determined here to try to get my way through. Let's see. Let's go left first. Oh, there we go. Let's go up here first. Ain't no grab. like shanking you or at least trying to not not this time pal yeah i'll ruin my reputation right here any day but i'll i'll take their uh, whatever i don't know if i worded that right but i'll take this game over uh castlevania or metroid any game in the series pretty much either of those series any day of the week any month of the year. I, I don't know what it is, but this game just clicks with me. Let's pop that belt on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Are there any ranged weapons? Uh, I don't I don't know, Silencer. I can't remember. I don't I think you can maybe get some magic that has some range, but it's been so long. It's been like oh god. Probably again, it was like towards the beginning of the podcast, so probably a good three years, two and a half, three years since I played this last. Um, so yeah, I can't remember, but I, I know you get, I'm almost positive you can get something. Okay, we'll go down further. Oh, another passageway already? Are you serious? I can't remember if there are more of these, uh, hub zones, but I'll take that checkpoint or that, uh, heal point, whatever. Both, any day. Don't mind if I do. Uh, hmm. Let's double 
check over here first. Ah, dumb. No patience. going on, Fletch? How's your uh, week starting off so far? Or I guess it's uh, Wednesday here. My days are all out of whack now that I've been, like, packing, getting ready for the move. I'm actually heading back to Michigan tomorrow to uh, head back home, unfortunately, for my uh, aunt's funeral. Although she was, uh, she'd been kind of suffering for a long time, so it's, you know, it's never a good thing, but it's always, you know, also kind of a, you know, good thing in a weird way, that, you know what I mean, I think. Um, Game audio is a bit loud. Thanks for the heads up, Fletch. I appreciate that. Um, give me a sec here and I'll uh, get that tweet. I got the computer all the way across the room here. I'm over here just jamming out to the uh, tunes. <laughs> thanks on the uh, congratulations and thanks for the uh, uh, apologies or, uh, you know, whatever on, on my aunt too. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, she had, she, you know... She was 73, definitely lived a, lived a good life and got the most out of the years she had other than the in recent years. Yeah, she was uh, suffering a little bit uh, with diabetes and the subsequent issues that go along with that. Um, so, yeah, in, in a way, like I know my cousin was saying, you know, he was really saying it's a blessing. So knowing that he was, you know, around her all the time, feel fortunate for a short time here. Um, I think this just lets like more loot drop, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. After talking to him, I was like, okay, I think it's you know for the better. Um, you know, I, again in that weird way, it's never like a good thing, but I think you know what I mean. Um, yeah, the pixel art in this game is just absolutely stunning. I was saying at the top, I really don't feel like this game deserves, like, the mediocre to slash bad rap that it has. Not bad rap, but I feel like it just gets, like, a little bit of a, yeah, it's reputation. It's just kind of like, eh, this game's okay to not that good, um, where I think it's fantastic. Um, but why don't I uh, take just a quick break here for a quick sec. I'll adjust the uh, game audio here, and I'm actually going to go top off my coffee. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back, and then we'll pick up right where we, uh, left off here. But, yeah, let's, uh, keep digging into some chasm here. I think I was back over this way. Um, yeah, we'll go down the, down the hatch, I guess. Deeper into the mines we go. Oh, shit! Oh, no, I could have got that. Fuck you. That better not be a one-time deal. I know, and I know it's not, obviously, but I think that probably means I'm about to get some kind of power up. Like I feel like maybe I'm gonna be able to climb back up that shaft. Okay. Not there, so there's probably some lever I gotta pull up here. I'm guessing. Oh, we got a Spear Gator this time. No more Shank. Oh, man, remember that game Shank? One of the first games on... Oh, maybe not one of the first games, but, like, one of the really early games. One of the first games that I remember from the, like, Xbox Live Arcade era. And they went on to make some awesome stuff. I think they even made a sequel to that game. But, like, Mark of the Ninja, I think, is from a lot of that same team. Uh, that's one of my favorite games. Uh top 10 percenter i would say you know I've, I've done calling things in my top 10 i think because there's about 100 games in my top 10 um okay yeah i, can, I don't think i can make these jump i think i gotta get a double jump i really don't remember there being that in this game but yeah i can't there's no way i can make that jump this one i can Still don't have the slide or whatever I need to 
toss that up. But man, that gator still does a nice uh, slide forward attack, though. Okay. Oh, get out of here. We'll go over. Oh, shrine time. I don't know why I always just call a save point a shrine. Man, even just the way that, like, halo, well, it's not a halo, but that rotating halo on the ground just looks freaking amazing. Okay, maybe I can make that jump over there. So I clearly can't get out of here otherwise. definitely have some moments where I recall like you're definitely like making some jumps where you're like you know barely making it by a thread can't make that though without the grab oh i can holy shit almost like a little uh not necessarily puzzly but like you gotta you definitely gotta jump in the right order or hit the platform like figure out which order to hit those platforms in beauteous let's go blob crystal blob oh miss me sucker and got the critical hit i wonder if you get any kind of like if because i got that dash back in like if that's what helped me get that critical i don't think so but that would be cool if you got like a reward for landing a dodge in a good timing level up at the club leveling up on a Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know why that song used to always play in the kitchen that I worked in when whatever it was out. Uh, I have no idea who sings it, what it, what it's called or anything, but um, that would always play in the kitchen and for whatever reason that's like always stuck in my head as like a funny song to like sing along to anything, whether it's Tuesday or not. Take the ah, oh, idiot! As I jump into a rock, I always take the high road. But ah, shit! It is good, at least for me. I like to have like a rule of just like come up with a, a tactic of like, okay, I'm always gonna go right. Or even when I would play like Mario Three, it was like when you get to the mushroom toad house, like always take the third chest or the second chest and just be like, I'm just committing to that for the whole game and if i get anything shitty it's just hey that's the that's just the way it shook out um <laughs> me singing is the funniest part silencer i i'm glad because every time i do it i'm like what am i doing what am i why am i making such a fool of myself but i just can't help myself it's funny i used to like my uh dad would always like i'd like you know he would like somebody would say something and a word would like trigger a song in his head and he would sing along and i think man how does my dad like know a song for like literally any situation you know and now i'm doing the same thing when i make these videos it's pretty funny pretty funny stuff It's weird how, like, I, I think, like, my dad and I are a lot a lot alike in a lot of ways, but also very much not alike in a ton of ways as well, which I'm sure everybody who has, <laughs> everybody who has parents can probably say that. Um, just the way things go. Okay, so, like, yeah, you see, like, a little bit of stuff with the procedural generation, like, where this room feels like the same chunk as that other chunk we were just in, where I was like, should I take the high road or the low road? Um... 
but yeah, that's like the only little bit. So I think this this means there's a boss here. So I think I don't want to do that just yet. Especially since there was that low road back there. Yeah, it's fun to just uh, just bust into some tunes every once in a while, for sure. And you never know, maybe uh, some people like the same bands or artists or whatever, or maybe find a new artist to get, you know. I'm obviously here to recommend the games, but who knows, maybe someone will be, hey. I remember uh, one time my cousin, like way back, like before Jimmy World was a band that everybody knew, it was like he was just, uh, just we were like uh, on a family vacation and my cousin just kept singing uh, Bleed American, just that like, salt sweat, sugar on the asphalt. I literally like never heard any of the music, just him singing that part over and over. Like, almost to an annoying degree, but I was like, I just, I, the next time I was at the record store, I think it was like FYE or something, so not really, not really the record store um, equipment. Let's put that ring on. I think I got, oh no, I could have bought one of these, and now I'll just get that intuition for free, baby. Um, but yeah, I just like bought the CD on a whim, and actually, you know what, I think at FYE, it, it was FYE, because you could like scan the barcode on the CD at those listening stations, and uh listen to the maybe the whole track but for sure like a sample of the tracks that was sweet i bought so many albums like that overpriced albums at that like 20 dollars cds although I, I never really bought those i'd like wait till they do did like the crazy clearances oh it feels like a lifetime ago when i would go to the mall <laughs> and buy cds and uh shirts and hot topic oh good lord Good lord, a lifetime ago. Okay, I guess it's boss time. There is that save point right here, so there's not, like, too much to risk. Save point. Sip of coffee and we'll go in. Alright. Oh, shit, okay. I was expecting that attack to come from the other direction. Oh, shit. I, for some reason, I thought those eyes were looking in the other direction. Oh, yes. Okay. He's probably just going to attack. Okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. Oh, get out. Okay, so I feel like it's just automatically going to attack in the direction that you're facing it. Get your ass down here, buddy. Oh, lucky dodge. And then smash. Oh, shit. Got really lucky. Get the fuck out of here. Really love the soundtrack in this game. Also probably why I had it a little bit too loud and jamming earlier. Oh, get up. Get up. Level up. Full health. Sit your ass down. Piece of shit. Give me a Mega Man level up. Oh, okay. Just a power up or a health up. That's okay. Never in all my life. Alright. Keep spelunking. Although I'm going to go up and save. Just feels like the right thing to do. Just probably watch that there's like a save point right after the room, but. Say a quick prayer. And we're on our way. Oh, another checkpoint. Okay, new zone. I think maybe this is why I like this game so much, because the way it, like, breaks things down into, like, each independent area, kind of. Like, you got the mines, their own indiv individual maps. Like, I think that's why I liked it so much. Oh, here we go. Oh, thanks for nothing. Okay, can't go that way yet. So I'm almost positive I'm about to get that wall grab. Come on, get out. half 
tempted to go back to that more powerful knife, but it really helps having that range, even if it takes a few more swipes. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can go over to the right until I can get the grab down. Yeah, like these little lips here, you can grab those, and it just, it's like, kind of, yeah, it takes the place of wall jumping. All right, all right. Get a little turkey. Yes! Give me the claw, spiked gloves. Beautiful. What a cool uh, little item, uh, Melody, but yeah. I just love the way it's so snappy, too. It feels so automatic, the way you just grab on. Ooh. So here we go. This game just... Oh, shit. Just opened up big time. Even right here. Get that ledge. So, yeah, stuff that looked, like, way out of reach. But, yeah, even here you can say, okay, I saw this room before. Although that actually might be the same room. I think it is, actually. Um, just coming from a different angle. Oh, get out! I'm looking right at the spikes. I wonder if they were popped up because of those skulls. Okay, no, I think I just need to go back up. Ah, idiot. Gotta go all the way back around now. Wrong way, zombie buddy. Might as well get the experience. I didn't realize the XP bar was right there in the, uh, right below the health and magic uh, bar. Only, I guess it's only right after you kill enemies because it's not there right now. Okay. So here it's like I could go the way that uh, Spelunker went or I could go this way. See, another hub zone. Oh yeah. That's right. You blow this away. Now this lets you travel through to that other door, so this is how you kind of fast travel between zones. Yeah, this game is awesome. I really don't know why this game got uh, a, bit, a little bit of a bad rap. Not a bad rap, a mediocre rap. Okay. We'll go on over this way. Oh, shit. Good thing no fall damage. Take five hits to kill that zombie. I was almost going to start singing zombie, but that's just obnoxious. I guess I don't know if that's what the name of that song is, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. All right, Ash. Got to catch them all. Potions, okay. Back in the tavern. There we go. I love how, like, a lot of these gaps really don't look like you can make it. Like, I don't know, it just makes the platforming feel that much more fun. Okay, I'm glad I went here. Just <laughs> a little random loot room. Otherwise, I could think there's a path down there. When you look at the map or whatever. Again, I can't stress enough how nice it is to just be able to whip up that map at any point. Okay, those are just shelves in the background. What the fuck is this thing? What the heck? Just some random, like, super grotesque monster. Oh, come on. said we're playing carry on for a second. All right, bunch of 
bunch of lore. Yeah, the soundtrack is just so good. Ah, uh, get one more. Yeah. Get it. There we go. Ah, shit. I wish the uh, enemies triggered the spikes. You think this thing looks like a rabbit silencer? Are you crazy? I guess kinda. Like some kind of fucked up chupacabra rabbit or something. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is up with that thing. That thing is definitely mutated. Give me some. Oh, long sword. Let's go. Okay, I can't put it in the other hand. Let's go. Is it. How much slower is it? Not much. Just a little bit more range. And just a little bit slower. So I'll take that all day. Oh, yeah. These jumps just like barely can make them. And it's like certainly not a precision platformer, but. It's like very satisfying platforming. Oh, open the tunnel. There's probably a save point in here I didn't even check. Or no, I went back to the... Like through to the original hub area to save. Okay. like its own oh boomerang it's like a hammer bro kind of um i like how each area has like its own like you know torch for oh i can swipe that boomerang heck yeah sit your ass down level up on a tuesday <laughs> I'll, I'll stop that right now um okay the snake can take some heat These like kind of skull torch things, lanterns hanging down. Hmm. Gotta be quick. You gotta be quick. You gotta be smooth. You gotta be wiser. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, the pixel art in this game is just amazing. War Club? I don't remember this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it only goes up by one. Oh, it's quite a bit slower. Yeah, I go back to the sword. I guess that diagonal is... Oh, shit. I like how it's not an insta-death when you fall in, like, the lava or the poison or whatever. It's just, like, you actually just barely lose any health. Just a little light damage, as long as you can get out of there in a decent amount of time. But, yeah, even these, like, single-tile platforms, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's not, again, it's not very precision-y in the sense that, like, you always feel like you can just nail it. I don't know. I just feel like the... Like, all the distances between jumps and platforms are just, like, really well, really, really well designed in this game. Oh, swipe. Sit down. Chipping away. Should try to go up uh, to the surface and try to buy some shit, though. Just to see what I can afford. What do we got? Let's go. Nope. Archaeologist. This place is incredible. I 
Oh, it's crazy how many games use this, like, ancient civilization uh, trope or whatever. Um, like, I feel like every game I play these days has, like, some kind of references to this sort of stuff or throws this sort of theming in. dump and well let's go up over here just to see what's up here first I feel like maybe that feather is like a double double jump. I really don't remember getting a double jump in this game though, but I at the same time I feel like there has to be one. Okay. Another I think I actually do have to read some of this to remember this puzzle. 837. There's something I have to. Okay, so star cup sword. Oh, what? Bottomless pit. Trap door. Forgot about that. Yeah, you gotta get that code right to open the door properly. I remember that, because I remember, like, being really stumped on that puzzle. Oh, here we go. Donnie Darko Rabbit. Back again. There's no way that's a rabbit. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Might just be a chunk of this guy. What the fuck? I do not remember this thing. S talk about Super Meat Boy. Jesus Christ. Super Meat Man. And up and down here. I know I'm a broken record per usual, but I truly don't know what people didn't like about this game. If you're a fan of, well, again, I'm not, I guess I'm not a fan of Metroidvanias and I like it a lot, so who am I to say? But I really don't see a, I don't have, a, I, tr I personally don't have a single complaint about this game. Not a one. Gotta get to the bottom of what that uh, what that uh, rabbit thing is. Maybe there's like a bestiary or something, and we can. Uh, I never know if that's how you say that word. I feel like it's not because it doesn't have the a in it. But it's not bestiary. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? Collect them all though. Ash, catch them. Dom, catch them. I'm Dom. Oh, the blacksmith. Let's go. It's time, I think it's time to go back to the main hub town. Oh, get the fuck out of here. What if I would have died right there? I'm pretty low on health, so I gotta be careful here. Hey, perfect timing. Not that that gives me any health, but... The 
theoretically can craft it, although I think I maybe have to do that back in the main, uh... Oh, yeah, you just, you can just do such a little, like, light tap jump. Oh, shit, I don't know why I was, like, looking at this enemy thinking it was about to throw a boomerang at me. I do love games that just have, like, a very, like, distinct cast of enemies, and then, like, you clearly know, okay, this is what this one does, or, like, it's, like, a different palette, so you know this is, like, the hard version of that enemy, like, I really am a big fan of that. Okay, I'm really low on health. Sneak through. Okay, where do I go from here? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God. craft a recipe oh there is a bestiary let's get to the bottom of this where's a meat monster oh you gotta kill more i haven't unlocked it yet okay that's cool i like how you have to like well well we'll kill one more right here oh well i might die right here so let me just double check and see if I don't think I can craft. Oh, can I just eat? Yeah, just chow down, baby. Apple a day. How about three? Oh, get the fuck out of here. There we go. Level up. Just wasted. Well, I mean, I would have died there. I was going to say wasted those apples, but I probably could have just ate one. So I haven't got down here, so let's, I guess, do that. Oh. Oh. Oh, two shots. Oh! I forgot about this mini game. I think it's just like a gambling thing. Carnival Barker, the showman. Put it all on the line. Wheel of Fate? Sure. See if my Mario Golf skills pay off. Give me something good. Nice. I'll take a potion. I remember there being a really cool animation when this guy disappears. Yeah. God, this game is sweet. Oh. Look at that parallax. Oh, this is just a regular enemy? Not even a boss? Shit. Guess maybe kind of similar to that, like, big miner that we squared off against kind of towards the beginning. It's not doing too much damage. So, yeah, uh, there we go. Bone Devil. One time, to, I think there's like a handful of enemies that are like little mini bosses like that where you just have to square off against them once. Okay, over here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. Save me up. Here's where we get into, like, the light precision platformer territory. Okay. What do we have here? Dead body? Whoa. Carcass time. Jeez. Yeah, like, here, just, like, barely make that jump. Oh, I love that scrolling up and down, too, with the right stick. Every platformer uh, that has, like, vertical scrolling should have that, I feel, if possible. All right. Finally fought our way out of that trap door. Although there's still a few areas I haven't explored there. Oh, another shortcut. So let's go back to let's go back to the main base. Which is here. Or 
pretty sure. Yeah. Can't remember if you ever get the ability to like fast travel up here. Okay, what do you got for me? Potion, don't need it yet. Yeah, this is the music that I was like setting the levels with at the start. So this is probably why I was like, oh yeah, this sounds good. Card games, deck of cards. Didn't I find the deck of cards already? I found something. Not the deck, I guess. Oh, a little bit of lore. Might as well collect it. save after I see what we can get. So what can I buy? Bandana, knife, chain mail. That armor might be worth it. Although then it's like, is it just worth it to save up? take some stuff down. Overall upgrade, but... Pretty happy where I'm at on that stuff. So let's get the... Chain mail takes just straight up defense up by two. So let's get that. Let's equip it. And then, probably sell a bunch of this stuff. Sell, 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 sell. I'm not going to use that shit. Um, well, then, can I afford anything else? No, just keep saving up. Speaking of saving. Yeah, I feel like a lot of those upgrades were like only an upgrade on like one of the capacities of oh, this like hot air balloon over here. Um, yeah, not enough of an upgrade to be like, oh yeah, I'm doing that. I got the wall grab, so I'm like tempted to explore over here a little bit. Okay, I like how you can set a marker in the room that you're currently in. Although I wish you could just like put it anywhere on the map, but you know what? Yeah, let's uh explore down over this way, I think is the way I want to go. Yeah, like down over to this area, kind of, to where the middle of the screen is. Just chop these fools down. Oh, still two hits on these little porcupines. I guess they got a little armor or whatever. I was going to say, you wouldn't expect they would take more uh, damage than uh, these goblins. Let's try to go down to the right first. I probably should just wait. Oh, there we go. As I say, I probably should just wait until I have some more upgrades, but rescue another. Oh, Mario! <laughs> Duncan. Karthus runs on Duncan, baby. <laughs> just in a stupid mood, apparently, today. Dad jokes left and right. Okay. So now we'll go 
up. I guess like I could see like if you have to keep doing sections like that, I guess we'll see how that plays out as we play through the game. If I have to keep like climbing these towers where you're just jumping left, jump right, jump left, jump right, wall grab. Like I could see that gets tedious potentially, but again, if the game's only like 10 hours or so, I'm always worried that like Metroidvanias are aiming for like a 20 to 30 hour experience and I'm like, I really don't want to play a game for more than five hours in most cases. There's plenty of exceptions, but just I feel like in a lot of cases, I'm just like, yeah, I'd rather just like play a little bit of this, get a taste of it, and move on to something else. Which in turn has me like never beating games like this, where I'm like, oh, I left this game that I was really enjoying and honestly loving, like halfway completed. Okay, yeah, I think I can go. Yeah, I never went this way. How did I never go this way? Yeah, I'm definitely there with you as well, uh, Silencer, especially the roguelikes that are kind of arcadey. Like, those are the games that I tend to gravitate towards because they're like, you can get into them right away, uh, especially if they don't have like a grindy uh, progression or anything like that. It's like, oh man, yeah, you can just like get right into the action um, and just not really like waste any time with like, oh, I got to learn the story or I got to play the first hour before the game really gets like moving, you know, like it's just like a good roguelike just lets you get really right into the action immediately um but this game lets you get in pretty quick too i'm pretty impressed to be honest like especially for a metroidvania um it just pretty much kicks right off and get like you gotta like go through the castle to get your sword and like do the opening bits which i uh, played through before the stream started here but just a quick opening segment that's like okay here you go you're on your own I'm always going to gravitate towards a more like arcadey, immediate kind of experience. Or I shouldn't say always, but more often than not. I love these like cave paintings here. It's almost like in the bowels of the volcano. It's almost like, like a stomach in that mountain. Oh, get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Did I go this way? Yeah. Went everywhere I can go that way. But here I go, just opening up the maps left and right. I'm always scared of that, but again, it's so snappy in this game. Even when I feel like, oh, I want to recheck that. Um, they take all the tedium out of, like, going through the menus. And even, like, your equipment. Just like, okay, I'm only using these things right now, and I don't have any intention of going back to these other things. I'm just going to sell all that stuff. Okay, I don't have the slide, okay? So went this way for nothing. Essentially. Yeah, I love the music in this game. Broken record. Nice that these slimes and these, uh, like, drill spear goblins or whatever the heck only take one shot now. With my current equipment. I'll just keep chugging along. Which way do I want to go here? I don't even think I've taken damage. Maybe a sna uh, smidge. But. Refill. Yeah, two, <laughs> two points. Refill some health. I think I've mostly kind of. re gone over this area. Oh! able to kill all those glow worms without going underneath them. Kind of forgot that those dropped on you if you went underneath them. Yeah, even the enemies that you're just like swiping through in one shot, it just feels so satisfying to chop them down. I don't know why, but it just does. probably a bunch of other ways I could go, but 
considering that one path is blocked off with the slide for now, it's like I might as well try to keep progressing and get that slide before I keep exploring and hit a bunch of dead ends. Because that's like the thing too, yeah, once you feel like whenever I'm playing a Metroidvania and I feel like I'm just like replaying sections over and over again, that's when I start feeling like, okay, I'm kind of ready to move on from this game. Um, and it's always half because I'm, there's just a million other games I want to be playing or, you know, could be playing. Whether it's something like new that comes out or... Okay, so these are where the portals are at. Like the flashing rooms. Go maybe to this one. Yeah. I don't know how that worked out that that was the one that I wanted to go to, but. I think this is getting it off up here to the right. Pretty sure I already did this before. Yeah, I definitely did. So I made that stupid Metal Gear Solid joke. Okay. chance to add this to the uh, beast area here. Okay. Yeah, there's another situation where I can slide. Come on. Oh, no! sound effects for this enemy are so gross. Okay. Is this where that beat man is? No. Oh, get out! Unrabbit the mystery. I love it. I love it. The dad jokes are coming from all angles today. I love it. Oh, shit. Okay. I haven't been over here, I don't think. That buzzsaw looks familiar, but I think that was just from earlier when I first got to this zone. Oh, shit. Run for it. Give me something good. Chain hood, let's go. It's gotta be better than the bandana. Lowers my concentration, maybe? But, yeah. Gotta have a matching armor anyways. Matching armor set, that is. Okay. Where else can I go over here, then? I need to go back to the starting area. I'm not 100% sure what those other uh, stats do. Uh, silencer. I'm actually not even 100% sure that it's concentration. I'm just kind of guessing. But I, I, I actually don't remember what a lot of that 
stuff does. Like, I'm assuming it's like intelligence, strength, concentration, and luck. That's my guess, but I really actually don't uh, know 100% for sure. Maybe, like, more chance to hit a critical uh, hit if your concentration's higher. I was gonna say maybe luck plays into that, but I bet you luck is more based on, like, how much loot drops. Can I go here yet? Yep. So let's maybe go back to... Uh, go back over here. Okay. Let's just keep exploring some, I guess. I don't, not a hundred percent sure what to do here. Again, there are still... I was hoping I could get that slide, but there's definitely some areas over here that I haven't been. Whether for the slide sake or not. I like how you can, like... Okay, I just took, like, literally one point of damage. Like, a lot of times I feel like the type of... Oh, two shots on that, uh... Little gator. I'll take that all day. Shit. And two on those ice blobs. Shots on everybody. There we go. Menu mode. Map mode, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, another pot pie. Okay. No, yeah, it never went down here. It's just a pit. Yep, just a death pit trap. Right down here. Okay, here's a path I haven't been. There we go. Always excited to just be like, okay, not totally like in dead end mode. Well, maybe I am. At least it's a dead end in and of itself. chop these fools. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I did that challenge because I remember thinking like I could do that. Okay, so I can't climb back up there. Or here. Huh. Definitely not where I need to go. Can I grab? No. Nope. I 
really gotta remember that you get so many like health items and stuff. Oh, a little venison. I'll get out. A little more venison. A little gator venison. just feel so fluid and snappy in this game, I feel. Oop. Everything's just so responsive. tougher to fend with when they got the upper uh, upper hand on the leverage side of things. Or the vantage point, I guess, is the more proper term. Here we go. Save it up. Okay. Back through here. Back through here. Oh, wait. I was thinking that took me into the warp zone. Okay. That's just to naturally go from zone to zone. Okay, so I gotta get up there. Up and to the left. There we go. Oh, come on. Is pretty forgiving with the platforming though like you you don't have to like jump right at the last second when you're on a ledge like it's pretty nice about that okay so yeah i think what i want to do is go back here now where do i want to explore here you got top left i can't go anywhere there top right maybe maybe here either top right or bottom left this lets me just run to the right here, yeah. Okay. Just clear cut my way across here. Oh, get out. Got enough health where I don't have to worry about it too much, but probably still shouldn't be totally reckless. Shank is back. Shit. Oh, for a second I was like, is that a feather over there? Just a broken piece of the lantern. Thinking it was that dusty feather slot that I need to fill on that uh, altar. Yeah, I guess I just went left and never went right. Oh, no, I did. Oh, but I can go back up, though. Okay. Oh, and there's potentially something up there I didn't go through. I, yeah, it's just so hard sometimes on these Metroidvania, Castlevania games, whatever, to, like, with the maps, like, with just these squares with, like, the little tiny, like, one pixel cutout that shows, oh, there's a door over here, or an opening that you haven't explored that area, like... I don't know, it, it can be a little bit tedious and a little bit annoying playing Metroidvanias as much as I do like this game. But yeah, 
I never did this. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, shit, I still might need to double jump or something to get up there. Yeah, my ledge grab isn't going to get me up there. Shit. So I've explored this whole area then. best that I can tell. Huh. I am at a little bit of a loss here. Because I'm pretty sure that whole second zone also pretty much fully explored you know at least as far as I can with the abilities that I currently have so let's go to I think well I was going to say bottom right but I think I want to go to just the bottom down here was that like treasure chest over here when I was falling and I was like oh can I get that off to the left let's see yeah what do you got it's just it's just this for real just money okay yeah there's nowhere else to go down here like a hundred percent for sure I feel some new armor or a new weapon or something. Hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm a little bit stumped here. Gotta pull up that second map here. I guess I probably could just go into it and tab over. Let's try to make my way over to that area. Chop him down. There we go. Yeah, I guess, I mean, for the most part, the combat is kind of almost meaningless. Like, you're kind of just plowing your way through the enemies. But I like that, personally. Especially if you're, like, kind of if you are doing a lot of backtracking or like trying to figure out, okay, did I go over there yet? It doesn't feel so tedious. There we go. I just tried pressing the shoulder button. I was like, have I had the slide all along and I just haven't realized it? But no, I'm pretty sure. And by pretty sure, I mean I'm positive that I don't. Oh, what do we have? Engineer's vest? What is that? Huge upgrade. Down on the defense, but upgrade on everything else? Eh. Only up by one, though. Not worth it. Up by one and down by... Yeah, level up instead. It's almost like, can I go in here or something? Sit down. Sit down! Of course, I get the critical on the bat. Zoo bat. Flying around like an idiot. Okay. 
get the fuck out of here. And then I'm like, I gotta heal up. Go back to my 85. Okay. Next area. Pretty positive that I've explored most of what I can do here. I guess maybe. Okay, maybe over there. Try to fast travel my way. Oh, come on. Not sure what's down there but I know I've already been down there I don't remember but at least map wise I know I've been down there I want to go over like right here I think where the middle of the screen is looks like there's some stuff I haven't seen over there maybe now how do I go to that one I think it's up here Yeah, I know I can't go up here. I think I just, like, ruled out. I was like, oh, I can't go up, and then I just stopped trying to see if I could go further this way. Is that three hits on that zombie now instead of five? Oh! Oh! This way. Okay. It's even a high road and a low road. Okay, so I went the high road, I never went the low road. That's what happened. Oh, but what is this? It's just like a luck shrine. Come on. Shield shrine. I mean, I get a cool looking outline, but that's it. I feel like I've been everywhere else. Oh, maybe down at the bottom, underneath that red, or up here at the top right tippy of the map. It's the last area that I feel like I can check. Hey, what's going on, Paradigm? How's it going? Good to see ya. Just chipping away at some chasm here. Finally decided to restart this game. I, again, I said it earlier, but I probably should have just picked up on my old file, but it's like, I gotta start this game fresh. Um, but I've been wanting to go back and actually beat this game for a long time. Oh, shit. There we go. read my mind there paradigm i've been uh, talking about that a bunch throughout this stream like uh every metroidvania i just end up getting lost this one felt like a pretty perfect scope and then like yeah the corridors are all like randomly stitched together here we go have i been here yet continue on without you get the hell out of here dude okay let me just double check up here to the right. I'm pretty sure it was a slide situation that I couldn't do, because, yeah. Back to my Metal Gear Solid 3 area joke. Yep, got to get that feather. So I must have to find that feather somehow. Maybe I can just buy it back in town. And I'm just forgetting that, but I don't think so. I 
I legit just have to go down this pit. Where does this lead? Okay. We'll call it a shortcut. I could have sworn there was a dead end over here. Did I really just never go down here? God damn it. So annoying. Definitely just never went this way. Chop you down. Ooh, leather bracer. Can I put that on my offhand? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I think I want that. And the leather belt. Perfect. Well, at least we're on a path now. Okay. Oh, I probably should have saved when I was right near that red room. Shit. Not going all the way back. Just gonna have to roll the dice. This is actually where you have to figure out that puzzle. This room took me forever to figure out the first time. Uh, so fair warning on the spoiler alert, but back on that like chain, I think you have to, or that like uh, combination where I fell down the trap door. You have to like remember. I'll go back. To, oh shit! This thing's gonna kill me. Let's uh, eat some health. Oh, I got a couple pot pies. Let's just chow down. I love how there's like these flies following that thing around. Um, I was in the middle of saying something I don't remember now. Oh, we got a foot switch. Does that stay lifted? No. Little block pushing puzzle. Don't mind if I do. I go either way here. Yeah. Just go the shorter route. There's one. Oh. Maybe not. Fuck that. Oh, wait. Can I cheese it? Oh, come on. Now I can't for sure. I think I had to push it the other way to make sure I had enough ledge. God damn it. To stand on to push it off. Not the end of the world. Okay. Gotta push it all the way over here. I know, I'm always trying not to be, I never wanna be known as like the cursing gamer or anything, <laughs> anything like that. I just can't help myself when I'm dying a bunch of games. I feel like it's all, uh, it's, it's uh, cursing with love, falling with style, as uh, as Buzz would say. Yeah, the cursed gamer, yeah. I love it. I do try, I mean, obviously not very hard, but I try to not be a total potty mouth, but yeah, it's, uh, it's inevitable sometimes, especially when I'm just like uh, kicking back, uh, for a stream. Almost inevitable. Oh, wait, what the heck? What is this? Another new area? Let's go. Oh, into the jungle we go. Okay. Just like, there's so many decisions. Like, okay, which way do I want to go? So this is probably we're gonna, probably gonna be where I get the slide, maybe? Getting the vibe that every zone is gonna give me a new ability. Slot carved into the wall. Some kind of hexagon. There we go. 
Yeah, some chill vibes on the tunes here. Although I feel like I'm, that's just like a dead end. Without the slide ability, at least. Once I can pull that lever, might be a different story. So where else can I go here? Go down further? Yeah, those years of working at the bar definitely did not help my, uh, just like, you know, cursing like a sailor, basically. You're just like, oh, yeah, I need that shit right away. <laughs> Especially when you start going into the kitchen. Like, at least at, you know, in the, in the bar, you get, you're in the bar, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do this puzzle here. Okay, so you got to remember. So there's the castle. There's the sword. I forget. It took me forever to figure this out. Like, you gotta look at these paintings in the background and realize... Was one of the images a castle? Or no, it was a star. So there's two chalices here on the table here on this painting in the background. So two chalices. There's three swords for these knights. And one, two, three, four, five, six stars, I think, is what you had to count on this one. I can't remember for sure. But that's the only thing I see multiples of. So three swords, six stars, two chalices. Playing mist over here. Okay. So I could keep going down. Oh, you know what? I'm almost like, let me take a screenshot of that. Could go back up that way. Let's just keep going down. Oh, come on. kill that enemy the boomerang immediately uh gets destroyed i love how you can do a nice like hang time jump too off of like uh like a re full kind of regular jump even just off of uh like ledge grab kind of feels similar to eagle island it's very satisfying in that regard get that learning scroll Oh, shit. I don't know what this does other than it gives me that cool blue outline. A cool blue, baby, I love you, my a true love. A little Madonna. You're not going to hear that one much. I think that's Madonna, pretty sure. Taking some heat, taking some damage, but is there a save point right, almost right here? Oh, haven't gone here either. But see, it's just like here for nothing. I'm sure I can do something here later, but. Nah, not quite. This is a save room. Yep. Beautiful. Save it up. Okay. So now I want to go back to that trap door area, which is actually up here. I don't think, can I scale this? I don't think so. Maybe I can? Might have even already done this. I was going to land that one on my feet. Oh, shit. Barely make that one. I was thinking it was going to be a ledge grab. Okay. Like this one here. You got to make sure you're holding against the wall. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Go. Back up to the top, baby. Okay, so stars was six. Chalices was two. I thought I was going to forget this, but swords was three. Let's go. Open that shit right up. Let's go. Four chops. Oh, ho, ho. 
I really don't remember a lot of these enemies. I do not remember this, like, mage. That's a really cool attack. Ah, get out. I got plenty of health, but still. Oh, man. any openings. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I turned around like an idiot. Do I have any antidotes to heal me? Hmm. Antidote recipe. Increase a random attribute. I didn't realize. See, I feel like stuff like that, I wish it would just use it, like, automatically when you pick it up. Um, let's see. Okay, there is a meter. For the poison, that is. Shit. It. Oh my god. Okay, let's eat some grapes. Maybe a turkey leg too? Yeah. How about a carrot? Put me close to the top of the health department. Let's see what's down here. tell if I just got hit again by that poison. It does look like that meter started over, kind of. Okay. Oop. Up and over. Okay, yeah, and it's just doing one damage every once in a while, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, God! God, God! Get out! Man, you sink in that goop quick. Thankfully, it's kind of more like quicksand. Like, you can... hop your way out of it, but... I swear. And I swear. Get out. By the moon and the stars in the sky. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's eat some shit. How about another carrot? I don't have any other fruit, actually. So I got a little more food. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> yes. Wrong way, pal. Sit down. There we go. We got Spike Dagger. Poison's almost out. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Yes! I was just thinking, maybe I'll go up first. Perfect. 
Oh shit, boss time. Let's go. Honeycomb. Definitely not a bee. Oh shit. Oh, get out. Get out a million times over. Some poor shit if I've ever seen it. Oh, come on. No health bar on these bosses, too, so you're kind of in the dark. Oh, shit. Where you at? Damn it. I'd be tempted to use my items more if... Oh, shit. If I didn't just hit that save point. No! Shit. Shit. Game over. Oh, it just sends you back to the title screen? Holy cow. I'm pretty sure, again, I saved right where I was, but yeah, 36% of the map. Look at that. Two hours in. Just making sure it, uh takes me right back to that boss let's give that boss one more go here and then i'll probably wrap it up for the chasm here for the stream but i might actually jump on and play another game or two maybe not maybe just one other game basically i just want to play a little bit of ninja saviors um possibly not 100 percent for sure but i've been enjoying uh what i've played of that so far god damn it god damn it Way too greedy on that. Okay. Where are you coming from? Ah, oh, come on. Like here, don't be greedy. Just oh, come on! And then I hit my head on the corner. I'm trying to be patient. Damn it. There we go. Get a few freebies in. Oh, yeah. Up and over. Up and over. Get that shit out of here, worm boy. Ah, damn it. Yes. Yes. Take you down to Carcass Town, baby. Let's go. Bone Worm, max HP up to 99. I feel like that's way more than three. Maybe like 30% or something. Oh, weird. I was expecting this to be another path down to the jungle. We're in like the crypts or something. shortcut and another shortcut boom is there a save point in here or are they all do they have you go back to like that main hub oh you get to pick i thought for i thought you just had to keep uh swapping through them every time you went through the door that's cool i wonder if they updated that or changed that because i sort of for whatever reason very vividly remembering it remember it working uh, a different way. I should say very vividly like I'm like I have it memorized. This is taking me right back to the Yeah, maybe I'll go back up to the town first. Nothing in here. Well just these same idiots. Watch one of them is like the one that gives me the feather. 
nothing I can buy here, right? Oh, the saber. Oh, I barely have enough. I'm getting it. 32 attack. Even though I could theoretically find it. Saber. Doing it. Five coins left. Oh, but I can sell shit. Let's go. I'm assuming that means I have those equipped, the blue ones. Or no. Sell that. Let me make sure. Equip the saber. Nothing else I can equip in the other hand. That's weird. I could have sworn you. Maybe that's for your magic or something. I don't know. Um, now we'll sell everything else. Beautiful. Sell this ring. Yeah, okay. See, I can get magic. Oh, I actually have enough now. Magic shield? Doesn't do me a whole lot of good. None of these do. Although... Magic boomerang. Let's get it. I think this is like a secondary weapon. I don't even know if I used this when I played the game the first time around. Like any of these secondary weapons. I don't think I did. Heck yeah. Save it up. And I think, yeah, I'm going to leave it uh, here for Chasm for now, I think. This game is awesome. I'm really honestly enjoying it just as much as I ever did. Um, oh, I can buy stuff from this guy too. Oh, I can sell to this guy. Yes. This will be for, like, crafting with the blacksmith, probably. I don't know. I was assuming that's what that would be for. But I guess, yeah, you would already do that. Like, he would ask for ingredients, right? Oh! Oh! Gotta find their hammer first. Okay. I see. Nice. Well, yeah. I'm gonna leave it there for uh, Chasm, I think. But heck yeah, this game is just as good as I remembered. And uh, I'm, I'm really loving that procedural generation side of things of like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be a different map the second time around. So not that I would remember it three years later, but very cool that it's just totally fresh this time around. 